Teenagers, what is the worst thing you are hiding in your room? Not a teenager anymore. But a girl I was friends with freshman year of college hid a live hen in her room for over a month. A bag of sugar crystals I sit and chew when I'm nervous. Meth? No. Just a string that you put in sugar water. After a week big crystals have formed on the string and it is a tasty candy. A few years ago I hid 14 beers in my room. I just found them a couple months ago. Apparently my hiding spot was so good I forgot about them. Had pothead roommates. They were always looking for their weed up. Sometimes they'd find weed up that they long forgot about or given up while searching for other weed up or just by chance. Good times. Letters to relatives in the case something happens to me. I'm a constant overthinker who worries about everything. So I wanted to be prepared in case someone murdered me or something. If someone found them now. They look like suicide notes. I actually have some random letters that I write when I'm bored and if someone found them now that probably think the same. I thought I was the only one that did this. Mine usually go into apologies. Things I like about them and items I want them to have. For the few assholes in my life. I just left duck yaus lol. Honestly. A dream journal. It's not really bad but it's just kinda embarrassing. Gotta burn that one of these days. My girlfriend. One time when I was 14 I had my boyfriend over. My parents hated him. When my parents were out to dinner. I asked them too many times when they'd be home and they smelled a rat. They came home early and as soon as the garage door opened I pushed him into my closet. My parents found me in my room. Blushing furiously with my top buttoned wrong. I had dogs. He was allergic. He sneezed. I was very grounded. For a long. Long time. My mom's birthday present. I'm setting up a pretend murder mystery for her. She's super into true crime stuff, and if she found any of it she would think I was a serial crawler. I hope my kid turns out as fun and creative as you. That's a really cool gift. Febreze. I'm technically not supposed to have any. And god forbid my sister finds it. But what would I do with it? Idek who owns the Febreze. It's contraband because my sister likes to spray it in my eyes so now nobody is allowed to have it. I've been considering moving it into the garage. I think you glossed over the fact that your sister likes to spray Febreze in your eyes. I want to assure you that this is not normal behavior and ask a question I'm sure everyone else is wondering about as well. What the duck? Probably the present we had to buy for a random classmate in high school. It was all food that I bought. But that person wasn't at school that day so I took it back home. We meant to give it to him later but we forgotten about it. But yeah that was 5 years ago. And it's still here. I'm pretty sure that everyone else has forgotten about it. You probably should start thinking about throwing out 5 year old food. No matter what it is. My mom goes through my stuff a lot but the one drawer she leaves alone is my painting supplies. I hide my pipe and a few drinks in there. Throw in a couple of dryer sheets and you're good to go. An empty bottle of wine because I'm too lazy to throw it out. Not a teenager. But I was one like 10 years ago. I once hid a mold colony behind my dresser. It started with one can of pop my cat knocked down, and then was forgotten about. For 17 years. Damn just threw it out. But it was a bag of my own hair I had cut off without my mom knowing. Now my hair's boy short and my mom's mad. Good for you I'm 24 and I still get a rush when I make my mom mad with my hair. Empty can of my dad's sheety beer that I stole a week ago when I was home alone. Emptied it in the sink after one sip. Holy sheet my dad drinks the worst beer. Be honest, it's your search history. Honestly there's no excuse to have questionable search history anymore. Bless private mode. About a dozen hits of LSD. Very easy to hide that stuff I can't believe I still got them. I don't think it's safe to keep that in your room. You should send them to me. Depends on what your idea of worst is. I mean. I have pot in my room if that counts. But I also have perverted smut drawings. 
If I ever have kids. I'm hiding pot in their rooms. Whether they smoke or not. They'll be WTF. My mates and I have a thing for stealing road signs in the dead of night when we have school the next morning. Like as in the signs for the streets we live on. They've all been distributed for safety now. But at one point my best friend had about two dozen stashed in his cupboard. With his dad's approval. I don't have much to hide since I share a room. What if my 9 year old brother found the poop sock? A ranime full body pillow. Yes I do enjoy it but I'm scared my parents will find it one day. As long as your taste in wafers isn't sheet. It's not a big deal. A small bag of weed L and LSD that's hidden in a hole behind a Woodstock poster. Shout out to my big cousin for the great birthday gift. My grandma found my weed I once. I came home and she was super giggly. A couple hours later I go to smoke and it's nowhere to be found. I freaked out because I had no idea what I had done with it and was worried she'd find it. Wasn't until the next morning that she brought it up and told me she's proud of my choice in quality. But stop spending my money on it. She and I smoked together a few times years later when I was in college. It was pretty chill tbh. One of my better bonding moments with her. Makes me miss her at times when I get high with friends. This wasn't a teenager. But an old dude that my buddy was cleaning out his room when he left. He found an old couch pillow. And wondered why there was a hole in it. He stuck his fingers in there. And found it weird there was a plastic bag of some kind in it. Until it dawned on him his fingers were suddenly wet. I'll let your imagination fill in the details of what that guy was using that pillow for. Not a teenager anymore but for me it was an extra pillow. I was only allowed one in the group home I lived in but I grew up with two and had a hard time sleeping with just one. I got my hands on an extra one one day when I noticed that a bed had been made up for a new arrival and no staff were around. Stuff that dug a deep under my mattress when I wasn't using it. Not really that bad. But all the songs I've written down on paper. Which is just more embarrassing. Also when I was like 11 I made a superhero costume and planned to leave my house in the middle of the night at one point and fight crime so there's that. A water bottle. My mother gets mad when I leave water in my room. No one must know. No one. A wardrobe chamber full of chaos to keep sane. Empty diet coke and potato chip packages. Old DVDs. I'm currently hiding a 12 pack of Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Hiding for several reasons. First off my parents don't want me drinking a lot of soda. But duck you it's my money. Second my brother has no qualms with stealing food. And third it's simply convenient. One time my neighbor, 14 stroke 15 at the time, convinced me, maybe 13, and my sister, 10. That the baby birds in the nest in our yard didn't have a mom because someone touched the nest. So. We thought we had to save the birds. They ended up in my closet for a week and we made bird food. Ended up putting them back outside though because that was obviously a terrible idea. Mom never found out. I have a sliding mirror closet door. I broke one of the mirrors a year ago and I've been covering it with the other ever since. My mom's gonna find out eventually but until then I'm good. I'm 30 now but in my teens I used to have a lot of hentai DVDs I'm pretty sure my mom knew I had them but no she didn't care because she had erotic novels. When I moved out I had left a few things at her house. Few years later my mom is moving to another house I happened to stop by with my gf and grandma was there. She comes up with a bag full of my old toys and a bag she says were dvds she tried opening it in front of them and I snatched it before she could take any out through that bag out before my gf looked in it down the street. The twist is I find out my gf likes hentai a few months later and would not believe me that the bag I had thrown out that day was full of it. Not in my room per se but when my parents were moving me in for my freshman year I had a backpack full of booze that I brought into the dorm. I set it on my bed and went to unpack my clothes so my parents could take the suitcase back. Well my mom took the time to make my bed and in turn move the backpack. 
well the, the bottles made a noise that made it quite obvious what was in there luckily my parents laughed it off cause they were moving me into college but I still turned bright red when I heard the clang. Alcohol. I'm not a huge drinker myself. However I just have a few random bottles of beer hidden in different places. Such as behind books in my bookshelf. In my bra drawer. Behind my cabinet etc. Basically places my dad would never look. Not really sure why I have them. They'd been hidden for over a year without being touched. I guess I kinda just had them there in case I ever felt like a drink. Or so I thought. One day he came in while I was at school to pet my bird. Like he usually does. And I think he somehow kind of sensed something was up. I don't know. He went snooping through my stuff, thanks dad, and ended up finding the bottle behind my cabinet. Anyways. I came home and noticed my room was different. So I asked my dad. And he played it off. But then he said oh. By the way. Your beer is in the fridge. At least keep it cold. Needless to say it went a lot better than expected. My dad was cool with his 17 year old daughter hoarding alcohol. He didn't even ask where I got it from. I had a porn magazine stash. It was locked in my desk drawer. I left home. Forgot about it and then mum called to say she was going to bring my stuff over and couldn't find the key to my drawer. Oh snap. It was on my keychain so I said hey don't worry about that I'll go through it next time I visit. Couple of days later hey we found the spare key. I packed your stuff up and we'll be over to visit later. She'd carefully packed up all the porn magazines in a box and didn't say anything about it. I asked her a few years later her reaction and she just laughed it off and said boys will be boys. My mum's a true hero.